Hey, it's Brad Davis with Nomad Cycles. Thanks for tuning in. For today, we have Show and Tell with a Bike Friday. This packing bike, it can come in pieces and pack into a smaller box or a trunk, but it's also a cargo bike. And you can see here, it is a super compact 20 inch wheel cargo bike, but with this telescoping boom, it can fit somebody from six something to down to four foot nine almost, or, or less. So it's a really versatile bike, but still have the cargo capacity to put kids on the back or tools or anything else you want. Uh, it fits uh, all the normal accessories that an extra cycle has or other cargo bike with the, the foot rails and kid bars and stuff. Um, and what we've done here is we've added an aftermarket 500 watt mid drive motor. So this guy right here is driving directly from the motor to the bicycle chain. And when that comes on, it's going through the gears. So whatever gear the bike is in, the motor is going through that gear too. You have a transmission with the motor power. Bike Friday themselves offers uh, an electric version of their, a smaller tongue chain motor. This is the Bafong. It's a stronger model. Um, and that's what we do here at our shop is we customize bikes. We put motors on bikes. And we were really happy to have this holiday come in. It showcases what a bike can do for people's lives um, in a niche that hasn't really been explored as much. For a little bit of comparison, i put this next to one of our guys' bikes. So we got a really big dummy here, which is a long tail, like the extra cycle compatible. There's the Bike Friday holiday. Okay, I'm trying to point that. This is where the foot peg would start. I'm gonna go and then come back in here. So it's just a little shorter but you still got all that capability. Uh, I love how we talked about this battery placement earlier. One of ours did the same. Just built an aluminum plate to put onto those seat stays. But there's a full size cargo bike, compact size cargo bike. You can see even with this much more compact size, we've got like a foot off of there. We've still got a whole lot of basket on the front and kids on the back. And you can see here we got the, the thousand watt motor with the stock chain ring that we put on the, the big dummy. And this one's the 500. So you got you got choices. You could put the big dog on this little bike too. But right now, with the lower weight motor and battery, it's still not a very heavy bike. I'm picking up off the ground right there. So here we go. We got the main tube right here. It is oval, so it, it can't bend. But, well, you can bend but not break. But it's, it won't just turn side to side. Telescope the boom further out for a taller human and further in for a smaller human. It works to fit more sizes of bodies than anything I've ever seen before. That telescopes up and then you got, because you already got these big telescoped out giraffe handlebars and suit posts uh, for the taller, but the frame itself can, can adapt. So we just finished putting a mid-drive motor on here. Bike Friday beautifully provided a battery mounting plate here. Just such a godsend. You know, sometimes we work hard to figure out how to fit the battery on a, out of the regular kind of bicycle. And here's our mid-drive motor. Well, it's the Bafang mid-drive motor, the 500 watt. We often put the 1000 watt motor on bikes, especially cargo bikes. This one could handle it. This is the 500 watt motor, Bafang mid-drive. They come in several sizes. This is a thousand watt we put on the big dummy, full size, full frame version of, of this little packable cargo bike. So that's the thousand watt version. Either way, uh, they're mid drive, so they're going through the gears of the bike. Uh, so you see down there, whatever cog you put the chain onto, uh, that's going to be the gear ratio that the motor's going through, which allows you to have a transmission with the motor's power as well as your own, which that makes a lot of riding more doable. We got both of these guys here right now. So Bike Friday provided this nice shelf platform to mount a battery onto, so they were thinking ahead on that. Um, I, at this point, after seeing all the craftsmanship that they put into building their product, I wouldn't have a hard time putting that 1000 watt motor on here. They might disagree, they might say, they might ruin the warranty. You know, everything's gotta be legal and it's up to whoever's putting their motor on that they're putting on the correct motor for their state and rules and everything else. So I'm not gonna say that Bike Friday would support it. I just know that I support them. I'm really impressed with this. I think this can handle whatever we put on it. But with keeping with the smaller motor, it's keeping with the lightweight and you know, kind of nimble, compact marvel that they put together here. 